and consciously train ourselves on. Yeah, yeah, that would be a great thing to mastermind on. So when I was teaching, brainstorming was kind of what we call masterminding now. You know, it was an opportunity for people to come together, get all their ideas out, and uh, come to some decisions. So it's a little bit different than masterminding. But what are some words that you are thinking about, JL? Well, I caught myself earlier when I was talking to Nancy, because at work they call them negative Nancys. And I don't like that because I know a Nancy now that is not negative. So like, I seriously have to like, say not like I stop myself and I'm like negative mindset. Yeah. Yeah. Positive mindset rather than falling into that. Because I don't think people realize when they say that or like, don't be a Karen, those kind of things. Like those are hurtful to those people. So that is something that I, I consciously every day try not to use real names with negative energy yeah yeah that's a great uh, insight a great insight i know in uh for the we talk about expectations there are certain words that uh, people use frequently that actually um set your mindset up to be negative and to beat yourself up and that's should is one of them i'm sure i'm sure that you've all thought about when you say i should do something you just set yourself up for um, frustration and i need to i have to Uh, those kinds of uh, things that we put on ourselves. And so when I find myself saying those or starting to say that, I almost have to just think about saying it. When I I first became friends with Beck, that was something that I had to adjust my emotional attachment to because she would correct me. And I took it as being attacked because in the past, I had been attacked a lot by women and and it, it didn't feel good. And then when we had a conversation about like, no, I'm just helping you shift your mind and helping you recognize your words. Like now it's like, thanks. Like yeah, so seriously, yeah. thank you. So like I, last time I saw her, there was one, um, a lady said, if I get to and Vex like, no, when you get to, mm-hmm. and it's so yeah. true. Like we have to remind each other of our words too. Like because you can catch your, you don't, sometimes don't catch yourself getting into that negative subconscious and other people can recognize that. Yeah. Kelly and I helped each other a lot because if I would say should, she said, yeah, she could, or yeah, yep. she can, you know, and, and so that was kind of a, a nice way to, to remind me, uh, you know, that I, I was using the word that sets me up for beating myself up. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it's time for us to, uh, to get to work. So I'm going to set up uh, oh, man. our uh, breakout room. We'll see you back back at uh, Ten Tail. Hazel, can you wish them a good day? Have a good day. You too, Hazel. Have a great day. <laughs> you guys at nine. Yeah. All right. Oh, you're still recording too, Terry. Thanks. Pleasure. Um, Terry, I'm wondering if JL would be interested in reacting to um, this other question, um, just like if we could mastermind a little bit around our, you know, our focus and our volunteerism on this heartbeat idea, um, one of the ways we would like to, you know, we wanna enhance getting to know the hearts of the members. And so what types of like questions would help us get to know each other by the heart? I'm wondering if we could just brainstorm like- Oh yeah some questions we could ask to gain knowledge of each other um, from our hearts. Um, You know, like, um, I'm nothing's like, I'm, I'm at a loss here for words, but I feel like if I really wanted to get to know somebody at a deep level, What but that starts. More. What's that? What inspires you? Like, yeah. is there, um, 
are you inspired by like watching people or feeling things? Um, videos, music. Yeah. It's almost like there's what things inspire you, what words inspire, like there, that could be a whole bunch of different questions, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, um, and I think back to like some of the questions that we were asked, like when you're struggling, how can we show up for you? Yeah. Uh, what brings you great joy? Um, and maybe like a what percentage of time are you, do you spend in being, you know, in joyfulness? Or, or do you spend doing that thing that brings you great joy? I like to ask uh, clients when I'm asking them questions like this is um, what brings you great joy? And then, you know, and then on a scale from one to 10, how joyful are you? And then that really opens up uh, if people put five or three or eight or whatever they put, then what could you do to have a higher score of joyfulness in your life? You know, so just really getting people to kind of problem solve their own what could I do to be more joyful if I know what brings me joy? Um, and how can I do that more often? So taking that yeah. one question and really building that, because we're talking, uh, JL, about having a, a monthly pop-up around the heartbeat. And so what kind of uh, questions can we ask to get the whole conversation started uh, during, during that pop-up? So if we were to ask what brings you joy, then you could carry that out in, in, into a longer conversation, getting deeper into the real heartbeat of, of what brings you joy and why, why aren't you doing what brings you joy and what can you do to do it more often, you know, so that they leave the pop up with some tools and strategies, you know, that they could, could bring more joy into their lives because I know what brings me joy. But sometimes I don't choose to to do it. I don't put it as a priority. I'm more up here, you know, than in my heart and trying to build that that heart joy. Mm -hmm. That's that's good, 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 good. Yeah, and I even like things like, um, you know, how do you help? How do you stay accountable to your heart? That's a good one. And I think of like Terry, like your themes for Terry talks, like yeah. you can just turn that into a heartbeat question. Yeah. And it comes down to, I think some of these questions will come around to uh, to self acceptance and self love, uh, because one of the reasons you may not be accountable or you may not be joyful is that you're giving all your love to someone else or to others or serving others more than yourself. And so you don't have that foundation of self love, which yeah. is so, I mean, so important to build heart strength and heart centeredness is to have that foundation of love. Yeah. Your hair looks cute. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, and again, so like what percentage of time or, you know, do you, do you love yourself, right? That Like that would be a great topic for maybe our first pop-up hour. Like just, you know, where would you say you are, uh, you know, as loving yourself now, mm -hmm. right? Or what percentage do you still have to give? Yeah, that might be a good theme for February, Terry, for our yeah, February. Very much. Yeah. 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 Is your heart is your heart is your heart beating? Is your heart beating for yourself alone, you know, yourself or for everyone else? <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> because I know that's in, in a lot of the people, clients that I work with, they don't they don't love themselves. That's why they're in, stuck. 
And that's why they don't know how to be happy and to uh, reach their dreams and goals is because they're putting themselves last. You know, they're beating themselves up, not loving themselves. Yes. I love it. Okay. Yeah. Ladies, so I just punched in, so I'm going to have to let you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, have you. a good day. Cute. Have a good day. You too. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, JL. Great seeing you and masterminding. Yeah. Yes. Have a good day. Love you. Right. See ya. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs> She's so cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we might, if we want to start this in February, which I think realistically, I, that would probably be a good goal for us. Yeah. Uh, and a perfect time to talk about heartbeat. <laughs> yes. You know, what's uh, February? February's, you know, symbol is Valentine's Day, right? And hearts and a lot of people are very depressed during February. <laughs> so um, I actually have a thought on that. How about, um, well, we can stop recording maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you. 